we are now going to start a new partnership with the state of Arizona. And now I have the honor and pleasure of introducing the 23rd governor of Arizona, Doug Ducey. Governor Ducey is the former CEO of Cold Stone Creamery. It's actually one of my favorite ice creams. Um, it's all over the world now. Um, in India, you queue up actually for that. Uh, which he and his team grew into a global brand. And now as the governor, he's made it to the mission to make Arizona the best state in the country to live, to work, to do business, and get an education. Under his leadership, the Arizona economy is thriving, and the state is widely recognized as a leader in innovation and workforce quality. Governor Ducey, we are very excited to learn about learn more about the state of Arizona, what you've accomplished, and your approach in building next generation talent. Uh, may I have you on the stage? And can I have Salil on the stage as well? Thank you, everyone. This is this is really a, an exciting time. I want to say to, to Ravi and S Salil and to the entire Infosys team uh, how excited we are from the state of Arizona to, to be here today. You know, I always in, enjoy spending time with visionary companies who are revolutionizing their industry, and Infosys is really leading the charge. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about where Arizona was just not that long ago. Arizona is the newest, youngest, uh, last state to actually become a state in the lower 48 in the United States. So we work with a pioneering type mindset, people that have risked it all to create what we call the startup state. And we want to make certain that Arizona remains a land of opportunity for this generation and for more to come. Uh, in 2015, when I first came into office, Arizona had a $1 billion deficit and our economy was sluggish and we had an existing lawsuit over funding in public education. We made some business-like decisions in the state capitol, tightened our belt, shut down agencies that weren't fulfilling their role for the taxpayers, and we targeted uh, finding businesses that we could bring into the state while getting rid of unnecessary regulation at the state level and did everything we could to cut red tape and make Arizona the most welcoming and inviting place not only to live but to do business. We did things like put a moratorium on any new regulations or, or rules at the state level and last year alone we were able to actually wipe out, eliminate 676 regulations that saves businesses and taxpayers the equivalent of $48 million, and we did it without affecting our general fund one dollar. And today our state is on the rise. Our economy is booming. We've had over 200,000 people move to the state of Arizona in the last three years. We've had over 230,000 private sector jobs we've created. We've had over 300 companies relocate to our state. The last time unemployment was this low in Arizona, people were renting their movies at Blockbuster. <laughs> and with all this growth came record revenues, and we were able to invest where we knew it was most needed, and that was into our K-12 education system and our university system. We believe if you develop these kids, we'll have great workers with great careers for the future. So we put 2.7 billion dollars additional into K-12 education over the last three years. We settled that year's long lawsuit in our first year with something called Proposition 123, which will put 3.5 billion additional into K-12 education without raising taxes. We restored the cuts made during the Great Recession. We funded our state formula for career and technical training, which we call the Joint Technical Education Districts. And we've developed the Arizona Teachers Academy that encourages young people to consider public education as a career. It allows them to graduate debt-free with a job waiting. And just this past year, we were able to pass a 20% pay increase for Arizona teachers by school year 2020. And I'm 
really want to congratulate our teachers in the state of Arizona. The proof is in the pudding. It's in the delivery of results for our young people. Arizona kids are improving faster in math and reading than any other children in the United States. I'm also proud that upon graduation, our students have three incredible public universities from which to choose in our backyard, including Arizona State University, which has been determined to be the number one most innovative university for the last four years in a row, beating out MIT and Stanford. So we understand in our state how important workplace development is. We want everyone to have that opportunity to climb the economic ladder. We know how important the knowledge base is and the skill set so they can take full advantage of the opportunities in the 21st century. I love that line about, you know, we're closer to, to 2050 than we are to 1950. What changes do we have in terms of workforce development and inside our educational establishment to take advantage of those opportunities? So we're engaging our universities our philanthropic communities, and our employers to get that done. We've got an initiative called the Chief 60 AZ, and we're aiming to get a decree or certificate in 60% of our citizens' hands by 2030. So whether it's advanced education, industry credentials, two-year community colleges, stackable portable certificates, or quality work-based learning opportunities and apprenticeships, we want to keep gaining skills and knowledge necessary for success in tomorrow's economy and in tomorrow's workforce. And that's why I'm so thrilled to be joining you here today. What you are doing at Infosys is cutting edge for what's going to happen in this next century. This is a company that has a steadfast commitment to the priorities of continual education and training. The investment that Infosys is making in training programs both internally and in partnership with academic institutions is astounding. Infosys is providing a model for workplace development that can and should be re replicated by companies across industries, not only in the United States, but around the globe. And as this company has grown, the communities in which they have operated have benefited. I've seen a lot of my fellow brother and sister governors uh, on the screen, and I'm, I'm thankful that Arizona is going to be part of this. And I also want to commend Infosys for all the great work they've done across the country. So thank you for having me here today, Robbie, and I look forward to the continuation of the program. Before we make a quick announcement, which Salil is going to uh, uh, Salil is going to come onto the stage. Uh, I would like to invite uh, Sandra Watson, the president of the Arizona Commerce Authority. So, um, for everyone here. Uh, this is really an exciting uh, opportunity for us, so thank you, uh, Governor, for being here. Thank you for all of the real focus that we've seen from Arizona uh, to what Infosys is doing. Um, in continuing the journey that we've started for what we've termed being local within the United States and building out our new hubs and centers, I'm delighted to announce that we are today launching a new hub and center in Arizona. Arizona is a state where you heard from the governor several of the statistics. It is something that you have to experience for yourself. I was there literally last week on Tuesday in Phoenix and you can see uh, I was with one of our clients and the level of excitement and commitment that they had in expanding. It was a high-tech client expanding in that state and building new capacity and capability. And the reason 
there is a very strong focus on education. You heard some of the statistics on K-12, but also on university education. And the University of Arizona, the, the way the university system has been changed, the focus that has been put into it, the investment that has been put into it, and that has resulted in a lot of new uh, trained, educated, new employees, prospective employees that are coming into the marketplace. So that's one big reason for us to look at it. Another is the way the state itself is encouraging business and especially encouraging innovation. We have seen that the state is really focused on and with the sponsorship from the governor's office on manufacturing, on internet of things and IoT and that whole focus could change the way the state progresses in the coming years in some of these new technologies. And then there's a confluence of our clients and the large companies in the state, be it in high tech, in financial services, uh, even healthcare. So for us, there's a tremendous amount of excitement in opening this new location uh, for Infosys. Uh, with that, uh, we, I'd like to request the governor to say a few more words specifically focused on the launching of the new Infosys Digital Center and Hub uh, in the state of Arizona. I, I want to say thank you so much to CLL. Uh, we are uh, thrilled that Infosys is making this commitment and investment in, in the state of Arizona. I can't wait to get home and share the news uh, in Arizona today. I'm also thrilled that he recognizes the commitment and the advancements that we're making in K-12 education and at the university level. There are those that seem to insist that the biggest tech news only happens in the state of California. <laughs> well, in, in this case, we may be breaking the news in the state of California, but we're proud that this opportunity is all about the state of Arizona. The news of a thousand new jobs in the state of Arizona is fantastic on its own. It's something that will be embraced and welcomed by the citizens of Arizona. But there really is so much more to this announcement than just a thousand new jobs. As this new innovation hub, Infosys will pioneer the next generation of advances in the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and more. So I again want to say to Ravi and Salil how grateful I am as governor that they've chosen Arizona to invest in. Uh, this company has proven itself to be precisely the type of company our state has been looking to attract. One that is dedicated to the lifelong success of its employees and the well-being of its surrounding communities. I also want to thank Sandra for her leadership on our Commerce Authority. We've got just some terrific people from the private sector and the public sector. You know, in Arizona, 70% of the adults were born somewhere else. And in the most mobile country in the world, they said, this is where I want to live. I think it's a leading indicator to our quality of life and our economic development. But in many ways, we try harder because we, like Infosys, want to create the future in the state of Arizona. I'm confident that the top talent that we have in our state and the top talent that we're developing will continue to help you scale your operation quickly and successfully, and we look forward to witnessing the legacy that Emphasis will build in the state of Arizona. Thank you.
what an incredible announcement. Thank you. Let's hear it.